Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host. And in this episode, I want to show you the difference between using heavy synthesizers um, versus uh, lighter synthesizers. And I also want to show you the difference between working with a newer iPad and an older iPad and how hardware can many times dictate what you can and cannot do. So there are many aspects uh, to think about when it comes to choosing a synth or an app to work with, uh, how much of the resources it's taking from the system, and also how much resources you already have depending on the hardware you're using. So on one side we have Moog Model D. It's Moog's version of the Mini Moog as an app and it costs you almost nothing so you should get it. Now this app is extremely heavy to run. There's probably some modeling going on there. I don't know what kind of black magic they've used to make that synth sound so good but it's taking a lot of resources from the system. The other side here we have Agonizer, the best bass synthesizer in the world. It is the best one because it was made by Kayaras and myself for myself. Now, Agonizer is not as heavy to run as Model D, and I'll show it to you. Okay, so here we have AUM, and right now I'm gonna do the first test on my new iPad. And my new iPad is an iPad Pro from 2018. So it basically has the same uh, processor, the oc same octa-core processor as the 2020 uh, unit iPad Pro. It's an 11 inch and it's extremely powerful. And the reason to why I bought this is because I wanted to save money. So I bought it used uh, of an auction site and I got it at a steel price for $500, which is, it's, it, it's a sick price. Now the other iPad I'm using, we're gonna do tests with that too and I'll show you the difference. It's an iPad Pro 12.9 inch from 2015. So very old by now in iDevice standards. Okay, so AUM, I've already got four channels loaded here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin by loading up uh, Moog Model D. And what I want you to do is to look at the DSP meter up in the upper uh, right corner. So one instance of Moog Model D and it already says 21%, all right? Another instance of Moog Model D and it says 24, uh, 32. Okay, so it's getting up. Now we'll run another one, Moog Model D. There we go, and we'll just keep doing this. And there we have four loaded, and it already says 62%. Now, what I'm gonna do is add another channel and add another instance of Moog Model D. What happens? We're up to 86%. Now, let's see if we can play this. So we're gonna go into the MIDI settings, and I'm gonna make sure that the uh, internal keyboard here in AUM is connected to all the Moog Model Ds. Now, I know for a fact that there is a, a preset uh, selected in all uh, Mo Moog Model D instances where it's basically monophonic, one voice, one note. I'm gonna load one more instance. Now watch the uh, DSP meter here, okay? Moog Model D. We got six instances of Moog Model D, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna connect that and see if we can play this without any problems. Seems good. Now let's add one more. One more instance of Moog Model D. And there we go. Oh, we're going into the reds. And you know what? We're gonna connect this one up and I'm gonna play a note. That's our limit. Now imagine this, imagine this. Let's say you want to use effects on here and a drum machine or something else. You can see how you're gonna get limited. And this is on a quite, a, like this is on an octa core, four gigabytes of RAM, iPad Pro from 2018. It's almost the same specs as the new 2020 iPad models. The only big difference between the 2020 model iPad Pro and the 2018 model is the um, improved camera on the new models, the 2020, the LiDAR camera. You don't have that on the 2018 iPad Pro and you only have four gigabytes of RAM on the iPad Pro from 2018. Uh, with the 2020 iPad Pro, you get six gigabytes of RAM. So if you wanna save money, get an older one, save some money, and now you have more money over for apps. So here's the deal. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna clear this out, okay? Clear it out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load um, a file that I've already pre-made here, 16 Agonizer. So let's see here. It's loading up all the instances of Agonizer synth. Let's see what happens with the DSP load once it's done. 
Come on, keep loading them. Five, number six, number six, number seven, number seven, number eight. It just keeps going, this is awesome. Number nine, number 10, number 11. Oh, number 12, it's like clockwork. Number 13, one a second or something. 14, it just keeps going, 15, 16. Okay, and it, it just spiked there. The D speed meter spiked to 223. And that's when it initializes all of them. But will this glitch now when we play it? Well, let's go in here and I've already connected all of the MIDI so that we can play all of the instances of Agonizer with just one key. Now, Agonizer is monophonic, so it's just one voice, you know? So it, it, no polyphony here. <laughs> We're playing 16 instances at once here. Shall we keep going? Well, let's add another one, okay? So let's add another agonizer here. And there we go. And let's connect that one. And you know what? I'm gonna try doing 18 instances of agonizer, all right? So let's do that. Come on, one more, one more. You can do that, right? You can do that. The DSP load is right now at 83%. Let's play this. we're still able to play it. Can we do 20 instances? All right, one more. Oh, and there it crashed. Does this mean that Agonizer is bad? No, it means we're hitting a limit. And on iOS, we are more limited with our hardware resources than we are on desktop and laptop. Um, because on those systems, we can utilize the RAM way more. It's being handled in a different way. And also we can add uh, drivers to have the audio run better. You don't get to do that with iOS. So you have to find workarounds. And one workaround when working inside a DAW is to record stuff down to audio and then unplug the plugin, which is heavy and then keep working from there. Now, I'm gonna do the same test, but I'm gonna edit out all the loading and everything so you can see what happens when we try to do this on my older iPad from 2015. It's a 12.9 inch model. It's got a duo core instead of the octa-core we have on the new iPad. And I've got four instances of Moog Model D loaded right here inside AUM. As you can see, our DSP load is already up at 92%. Will we be able to play this? Remember on the new iPad Pro from 2018, we were able to run six instances of Moog Model D and everything went to hell as soon as we loaded seven. Here we have four, we're now gonna load five. Let's see here. And it goes into the red. Now I'm gonna connect this up, but I guess you can already, you probably already know what this is gonna sound like. Now, let's see how many agonizers we can run in here. Hey again, now we have 14 instances of agonizer. I'm gonna make sure to connect them up and I'm gonna play them. And there we start having problems. Now, if I unload one instance of agonizer, let's see if we can do that. Yeah, okay, so it turns out we can run 13 instances of Agonizer, but only four instances correctly on of Moog Model D on the older iPad 12.9 inch 2015. I'm gonna mix these up. Now you can see how different it is, depending on what plugin you're using. And it's the same thing with effect plugins. If you don't need a, an expensive sounding reverb, you could go with something else that loads a little bit lighter. There are so many ways of optimizing your environments when you're producing music on an iDevice, which might be limited in hardware resources. And remember, polyphony also counts into this because the more notes you're playing, the more CPU you're gonna need from the system. So if you're running all monophonic synths, you can get pretty far, especially if the synthesizer isn't that heavy. Some apps will just tax your system hard. Now you can go get Model D if you use the link down below uh, from wherever it is. I don't know if it's in sa on sale right now during the holidays, but Agonizer is still on sale for a few days. So if you wanna go get it, go get it. And if you don't know about Agonizer and wanna know more about uh, what it is and how it works, and how involved I am, you know, because the synth was made for me, then go watch my Agonizer video uh, popping out right now. So as usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now take care of yourselves during the holidays. And as usual, I wish you a very productive uh, month 
the week. Now, go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Many times I have found new ways of doing stuff. And many times I've gotten inspired by, by the problem I'm trying to solve by finding some new way of solving it. So, yeah, it's, it's just you have to consider what you're using when you're using an iPad with a limited amount of power. So if 